Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I'm going to make this video and this is by request. I get questions often asked how to, how to unmount um, red rubber wood mounted stamps. Now um, I have transferred probably 99% of my stamps um, to cling because they're easier to store and they're more concise to store in a smaller space which is what I'm working with. Um, and this particular stamp was giving me a problem with my typical kind of find a niche and peel it off. See, it's really stuck on. So I'm going to show you um, one way and then give you a couple of other options. When you're dealing with quality red rubber stamps, there's a couple of different ways that you could dislodge the red rubber from the adhesive foam, which is what this is. The layer of black, gray, whatever the color happens to be. Um, and the reason the foam is there is to give you a cushion when you stamp for a more, for a better impression. To mount it on a cling cushion foam, you definitely need to remove the red rubber from the foam because you, you don't want, first of all, if you try to keep the foam intact from the wood mount, it may come off in pieces and then you'll have inconsistent depths which will definitely impact the quality of the stamped image. So you want to get the red rubber as cleanly off of the previous mount as possible. When it's not possible to just peel, like snag a corner and peel, which luckily majority uh, come off that easily, um, there's a couple of different ways. I will show you one. What you could do is you could plug in an old-fashioned percolator cuff, uh, coffee maker that has a warming base and then take your stamp plug the uh, coffee pot coffee maker in without the glass carafe or stainless carafe whatever it happens to be and then place your red rubber stamp again good quality red rubber this may not apply to some of those dollar or less stamps and place it down on the heating element what that will do is it will heat up the rubber not enough to melt the image don't leave it on for too long. You'll start to see, um, you know, leave it on for um, half a minute to a minute. And then the adhesive between the red rubber and the foam will start to be loosened because it, the heat will make it more pliable, at which point you can peel it off. So that's one way. Another way is you can place your entire block in the microwave. 30 to 45 seconds. That will also do the same thing. It will heat up the glue and allow you to peel back the red rubber off of the foam off of the wood mount. The way that I'm going to show you now is a cheater method. <laughs> kind of. Um, I have my hot, my um, heat gun. And what I'm going to do, because I know this is a good red uh, a good quality rubber stamp. This is uh, Inka Dinka Do from I think, I think it's Inka Dinka Do. Yep, from um, Hobby Lobby, I picked up on on holes on um, clearance, and I definitely want to add it because I added to cushion uh, to my regular clean cushion. So I started, I got a little bit, um, but then, and the symphony begins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it. You'll see. <laughs> They're just saying hello. I'm going to heat it, angled at the wood just about right here like this not too long moving the heat gun just a little bit back and forth to avoid direct scorching heat and you may need to make a couple of attempts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if see look at that what was previously completely stuck on is now being released. That heat, and this is a little hot to the touch, so you might want to use tweezers. Now, since I have a little lift lifted up, I'm going to apply the heat away from my flesh. <laughs> Pulling it back ever so slightly.
And because I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way, I'm going to heat up this side of it now. And then just overall to make sure it releases the rest of the way. So we know we peeled up this corner and you have to see just how easy this is. I'm trying not to get my fingers sticky. You see that? Once you heat it all up, it will re release relatively easy. So there you go. So you see I have some residue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stamp this way on some paper towels. I'm going to let it cool first. And I'm going to spray it with, let me just put my, gun, my heat gun away. I'm going to spray it with this stick away and let it sit. And then come back with a little plastic squeegee to, tr to get the rest of this off because I don't want that to be sandwiched in between my ru a red rubber stamp and the brand new clean cushion foam that I'm going to apply to it. So that's the method that I prefer to use when I have a, only a handful of stamps. If you have a lot more, um, you could definitely do the microwave me method or if you have a lot to unmount. The coffee maker method is probably the most productive in your space because unless you want to be running back and forth between your microwave or schlep your microwave into your craft space, which is entirely possible, it all depends on how much you have to unmount. So that's, my, that's the method that I use. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. What I'm going to do now is uh, place some paper towels uh, to save my work surface because this does have a little grease element in it and spray the stick away. If you don't have stick away, you can also use what's readily available. I think in every hardware store uh, it's called Goo Off. Is it Goo Off or Goo Gone? One of those. It's um, a yellow substance in like a two ounce uh, clear bottle black cap. I'm visualizing. I think we have one in the kitchen. So that's another thing they can use, but because so many crafters already have a product like this, like a stick away if you have a Cricut mat or a slice or any of the machines that require um, a tacky mat, uh, the stick away works really nicely. You will have to do a little bit of work, even after you spray it and let it sit for a little bit. And let it sit for about five or ten minutes. Um, you may you you'll still need to scrape it. Just be careful when you scrape it. Make sure you're not using a sharp object that cuts through the red rubber. So hopefully this helps you out. For those of you who have asked the question about how to unmount those super sticky red mount stamps in preparation to adhere them to cushion foam. If you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and feel free to ask for other requests.